For all my fellow camo grinders out there, we're in luck because this year the challenges are really easy, thank god. So as you can see here, I almost have all of the challenges done. In fact, I have all the challenges done that I needed to do in order to unlock the final challenge to get gold. And the final challenge is literally just getting three kills without dying ten times. So even that in itself is super easy. I'm not joking when I say I literally got all of this done by accident. Like I was just going through and then I was like, hey, you know what? I got the M4 max level. Let's go ahead and see what challenges I need to do to get a gold yet. And then I was like, oh. I'm literally there. It's basically almost gold already. It is honestly such a relieving feeling because as much as I love Call of Duty Vanguard, MW, Cold War, the challenges in those games, specifically like Vanguard and MW, just dragged on for a little too long. Before we get too far into the video, I just also wanted to thank you guys so much. We just hit 600 subs yesterday and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support on the channel lately. So after playing all of the maps in this game, I honestly don't have a map that I particularly like dislike by any means. The only one that I know has been a bit iffy for the community has been the Border patrol map where there's like all the cars on the bridge and i can totally understand why some players are pretty annoyed by that one it can get a little annoying having to jump and navigate all over the cars especially when you see an enemy and you're just trying to get to them real quick and you have to go through navigate through all the cars it's even more annoying if the cars haven't been blown up yet and then somebody just randomly decides to throw a grenade at you and then the car blowing up kills you instead of anybody else it's definitely a little too early for me to say what my least favorite and what my most favorite map is but i think it would either come down to the farm in terms of my most favorite maps and then like least favorite maps uh yeah i think it might be border patrol however i will say that if you're just trying to post up with a sniper rifle and get some quick long shots that map is really good for it especially if you can get like a good position on top of one of the buses so you get like a whole oversight of the enemy spawn of the map i still can't believe there's no hardcore in this game like they didn't mention anything about it at launch about it not being in the game but i guess in the same sense they never said anything about it being in the game in the first place but it's just a little bizarre man like i hope they don't drop it at season one and try to be like hey guys new feature why, like, why, why, why do you play like this? Do you get satisfaction out of it? Is this fun for you? But I hope they don't try to drop it and be like, hey guys, new feature, hardcore. It's like, uh, no dog, we've had that since COD 4. Honestly, I'm not much of a hardcore guy anyway, so I don't really care that much, but I know there is a lot of fans in the mode, so I'm kind of hoping it comes back, especially for some of the camo grinds when you're going for like long shots and stuff. Trying to get long shots with an SMG with, <laughs> no. Especially not in this game, dude. The damage drop off for the SMGs is a abysmal if you're anything beyond like 20 meters good luck i've been dropping a lot of shorts the last couple days because they do very well in the algorithm like yesterday i dropped two back to back and within an hour both of them i dropped them within like 15 minutes of each other and they both got over 1k views i uploaded the one this morning at like 5 or 6 a.m and it literally got like 500 views so it I, i'm just gonna keep going with that shorts are literally a cheat code in the youtube algorithm if you struggle to get views just post shorts i'm still salty about the fact that my most viewed video on my channel is a seven second short it has like 5,000 views it's literally just a video of me eating rice. That's literally all it was. Out of all the hours, out of all the days, weeks, months, years, out of all the effort I put into my content, the one thing that got like all the views, the thing that is most popular on my channel is a seven second video of me eating rice. Like why? I'm honestly glad Modern Warfare 2 is the game that we're going to have for the next two years versus like any other COD because like don't get me wrong, I like the other ones, I like the Cold War eras, I like the World War II eras, but like if there's any era I would like to play in for a long period of time or one where I feel like I could, it's definitely Modern Warfare 2. Cold War I could as well, but World War II, I, I don't know if I could do that for two years straight. I mean, if the zombies in that game would have been any good, then maybe sure, but like the only good map in that game ended up being Shinonuma, so... Eh, yeah, no. MP-wise, I'm gonna stand on this hill till I die, okay? I stand by the fact that Vanguard was a good MP. It's literally just MW 2019 with a World War II coat of paint. Sure, there were some questionable decisions and changes made to the game, but in the grand scheme of things, when you're not getting sweated on by bad SBMM and Das House and Shipment, it's actually a pretty good game. Honestly, I prefer playing the bigger maps in that game because it just does feel that good to play. It's literally just MW 2019, but smoother. I mean, heck, by the end of it, it wasn't really a World War II game anymore anyway. We had like the EX-1 and some sort of gun with a straight up 5 milliwatt laser sight. You had the Terminator skins and anime girl waifu. I'm excited, but scared for Warzone 2. I hope that it's better better than warzone 1 don't get me wrong warzone 1 definitely had its moments but like it, the player base just destroyed that game man that game kind of picked up the whole fortnite syndrome where all the 12 year old sweats got on and just kind of ruined the whole atmosphere around the game and i just i lost interest in it so freaking fast man like i said i mean when it first came out there was some fun to be had with it for sure but like once the player base kind of got ruined by all the toxic 12 year olds and all the sweats that just like constantly abused whatever weapons were meta that we treated every single match 
match, like a CDL esports tournament. It just, it got so annoying, man. My favorite COD BR is still Blackout. And even after Warzone 2 comes out, I bet it's still gonna be Blackout. It was the most Call of Duty feeling Battle Royale to date. I mean, sure, I guess you could say the new one feels like new COD. But when it comes to like that classic COD feel, like the fast paced action without being too sweaty esports twitchy feeling, definitely Blackout was the one. But regardless of how good or bad any of the Battle Royales are, I'm, I'm always gonna be a multiplayer guy. Battle Royales just have never really been my thing. I'd much rather hop into a 6v6, shoot some people in the face, call it a day, hop off. Dog, is the camo tracking busted? I definitely got more than one that game. I haven't tried third person since the beta. Let me see if they fix the ADS thing. I was not a fan of how jank the third person felt in the beta, where every time you ADS, it would like zoom into first person. It just like, it messed with my head after a while. I click third person, right? This doesn't look like third oh there it is oh my god yes they finally fixed it you can ads normally okay you know what let's give third person a shot let's see if i'm any good at this this is so weird this just does not feel right the only time that i've played third person in this game so far has been when i was playing like one of those co-op spec ops missions but who knows third person may actually be the way to go because so far i'm smoking these fools man these guys are terrible look at that we're 30 seconds into the match and i got a uav already dang man i wish i would have tried this sooner this is so easy and so far, I feel pretty good about this game. I think it's gonna be a good two years. Only thing I'm missing now is, uh, my anime camo bundle. They've only done anime camos. I'm waiting for a full-on anime skin. I mean, yeah, they did Attack on Titan, but you know what I mean. Like, like a full-on anime girl skin. All right, I'm posted up. Is anybody over there? No, nobody yet. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Anybody else over there? No, nope, nobody yet. That's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, a shout out to the patrons, comments, favorite grandma, low booty tap, and big daddy Maddie. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, I see you guys back here tomorrow at 7. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Stay beautiful and have an amazing day. Peace.